Brett E. Triumph on Magnetic Hill. Single of the week. SOTW. This single um, is actually the last section of a much bigger piece um, called Mechanical Royalty, which is a 16 minute uh, epic progressive rock, progressive metal type piece, which uh, was the title track to my album that came out in 2009. Here it is, right here. Um, and this came out on hi-hat recordings via Sonic Onion out of Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. The way that I wrote the song, uh, it was, uh, I was really lucky to be working um, in LA with uh, two great musicians, um, Adam Marcello uh, on drums and Carson Cohen on bass, who, you know, I told them what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this, right, this progressive rock epic piece with different chapters and the whole thing. And, tie it in with a sci-fi fairy tale concept, etc. And, you know, working with them was, was amazing because they understood, you know, the, they, they understood the vernacular and, and the joy of this type of music. And so they were definitely along for the ride, you know. And <clears throat> that was important because we really wrote it, you know, I wrote it together with them. You know, we worked on all the pieces together. And <clears throat> it took a long time to, to, you know, get to 16 minutes. And I think for me, it was always like, well, it's got to be at least 16 minutes. I think it's actually 15 minutes and some change, but I always tell people 16 minutes. Anyway, it was, you know, we recorded it, um, I recorded it over the course of maybe almost two years. So re recording it and recording the drums in one studio then recording vocals in some other studio. I mean, it was it was a work in progress for, for, for a while. So, um, and I remember once I had the whole song done, I was listening to it, I'm listening to the rough mix and I'm thinking, you know, for this outro piece that is, you know, very celebratory, it's like this sort of uh, victory kind of piece, um, you know, Triumph on Magnetic Hill. And um, it's, I felt like there was, we need like some kind of big drum fill to lead into that before the trumpets come in, you know. So I remember going back to the studio and then just to record this one really long drum fill. Like... So Adam did that, um, you know, and then cut that into the song. Anyway, listen to it and you'll see what I mean. So now, about the story of Mechanical Royalty. Um, probably in the future I will make like a, a two hour video to explain the whole complicated story. Um, but oh, another thing is that Mechanical Royalty is a music business term which refers to the royalties you get as a musician for your uh, physical sales of your CDs. Um, but the, the, the story in the song is about a, it's about a, um, a robot uh, society that attacks planet Earth, takes over planet Earth, and creates this robot kingdom. And basically, you know, the human species is almost wiped out by them. But what happens in the end is that um, through, you know, after a bunch of ups and downs, the, the robots actually want to reconnect with the humans because, the, you know, they feel like there's something missing in their society, this like human spirit kind of thing. And, um, and that's the victory at the end, you know. Now back to um, chapter seven, which is Triumph on Magnetic Hill. Also some CanCon in there because Magnetic Hill is a real place in New Brunswick. And um, if you know about it, you should go there. It's where you, you sit in your car and it looks, it feels like you're falling. If you put your car into neutral and then you're sitting on this hill and it, it looks, I mean, there's no doubt that you are basically falling uphill. So there's, because of the way the mountains are and the trees and everything, it's such a, it's, it's, um, it's, it's bizarre, but you should go there. Look it up, drive there with your car, Magnetic Hill, amazing. Um, like I was saying, um, it has, it's got this triumphant feel to it. Um, more CanCon, more CanCon. Um, uh, musically, it reminds me a little bit of um, uh, the ending of Bastille Day by Rush, which uh, you should check it out. And I mean, 
you know, speaking of Rush, you know, I mean, <clears throat> it's really, it's really hard for me to, I, I still can't believe that Neil Peart has uh, passed away. It's, it's kind of, I just can't wrap my head around that, but that's a whole nother story again. So, um, <clears throat> you know, um, you know, there's lots of, <laughs> so many things I want to tell you about, but that's it, you know, that's it for this week. And um, what can I say? The song is out today. Listen to it, download it, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys next Friday. Yeah.